Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the deck setup series. So this is going to be the third part of a five video series. In this we are going to discuss about the actual installation of deck server. So in the previous videos we have discussed architecture and the basic understanding of decks. In case you have not watched, you can take a look at those videos as well. So as I was mentioning in the previous video, here we are going to have three different sections. This is going to be user machine, this is going to be server machine and distribution agent machine. So in this first video, we are going to talk about how to set up the Tosca server. And here in case you see, we had two major components like Tosca distribution server and automation object service with the workspace. Okay. So this is what I have mentioned here. So this is what we are going to discuss in this video. And then in the next two videos, we are going to discuss about these two sections as well. Okay. So I have written an article on LinkedIn. So I'll put this link as well in case you want to follow the steps here. Okay. So basically we are going to discuss the deck setup with AOS and HTTPS bindings in this video. Okay. So there could be another way as well. You can set up AOS with HTTP binding as well. But this is the most popular one, so I'm going to cover this and then that can be, uh, uh, we can understand the entire setup existence. Okay, so there are certain prerequisites before setting up the decks. Okay, basically there are lot of different set of infrastructure which would be existing in different organizations. So things might change accordingly, but on a higher level, whenever we are working with decks, this, there are certain prerequisites like the same version of Tosca commander and server should be installed and uh, the Tosca commander server and the agent machine should be allowed to talk to each other. What do I mean by that? That there should not be uh, any security things in place which is restricting the communications between the machines. Otherwise, uh, it would not be, uh, we would not be able to implement this. Okay. So if there are certain restrictions, we need to talk with the security team and get those enabled. Okay. And obviously, since we are going to set up the server, we are uh, going to set up uh, the machines and all those things. So we need to have admin privileges. Okay. So these are the basic prerequisites. Now it will depend on what kind of infrastructure your company has, what kind of security protocols. So things will change a little bit here and there. Okay. So, and this video we am, I'm creating based on Tosca version 16. So in case of upcoming versions, things might change a little bit, but, uh, do refer uh, with the version as well to the latest documentation in order if there are any changes comes into picture. Okay, now let's get started. So the first and foremost thing we'll focus on the AOS workspace creation. Okay, so why we are saying it AOS because this is what we were talking about here, this AOS workspace creation. Okay, so here if you take a look, we will the normal way how we create a workspace, the same way we will create a workspace. Okay. We'll open our, uh, like we need to have Tosa Commander installed into the distributed execution server machine. So to create and set up an AOS, follow these steps. On the DEX machine, open Tosca Commander, go to project new and create a new workspace. Okay. When you're implementing DEX, at that time you have a plan to execute good number of test cases into distributed machines, right? So you most likely are working on multi-user repository. And that is where it works as well. So it will only work in case of multi-user repository. So we will select use existing repository option and then whatever, whatever uh, server you're using. So uh, here it is written MS SQL server, but if you're using any other server that also you can mention. Okay. Now in the connection string, whatever is your connection string to connect to the multi-user repository that goes in here. And then you can select a unique name for the new workspace. Okay. So here it is mentioned dex underscore work, but feel free to select whatever you want. Okay. Now in case of dex server workspace creation, we will give access to that workspace in order to execute. Okay. So maybe when you are installing Tosca commander, you would be selecting this option, create slim workspace to avoid performance issues. If your repository grows at a larger level, but in case of dex, it is not recommended to use slim workspace. So do not select on this option when you are creating workspace for text purpose. Okay. Now these are the points which I have highlighted here to create a setup workspace on the Dex machine, open Tosca commander, create new workspace, and then connect your AOS workspace to the repository. Okay. So same uh, set of steps are mentioned here. 
existing repository select a unique name do not click on create slim, slim workspace okay so after this uh, why we have done first the us workspace because this is the thing which we would need when we'll be setting up the server okay now we'll come to the second part which is the deck server installation okay now the deck server installation comes as part of tosca server installation okay so in order to install deck server we will have to install Tos tosca server okay so since we are talking about https port uh, https uh, binding with aos whenever we are installing tosca server we will get this option on service configuration page where we have to select https if you are going with http then you can select that option now the by default port for selecting for https is 443 so that has what been mentioned in this particular uh, picture but uh, in case this port is not available you can use any other port which is available like let's say this port is utilized so whatever port you will mention you will be able to see here that if the port is available or not okay now the second important part comes is the certificate thumbprint so we'll talk a little bit about that what is certificate thumbprint and why do we need that so basically whenever we are using certificates what happens is we are communicating or we are sending our data to different systems right and we want to secure that particular data okay so we are using uh, https and then we want to add additional layer so that's why we create certificates okay now this certificate is created by your infrastructure team okay so you can always connect with your infrastructure team to understand which is the valid certificate which you should be using for your tosca server installation okay now in order to locate that you can uh, go to your windows machine and you can search with mmc and that will open your microsoft management console okay which will look something like this okay and here in this uh, you go to this file option and you will click on this add remove snap in in case you are not able to see anything here so here you will see an option called certificate so if i'll select this and click on add and here whatever like uh, i want for the computer account i'll click on next and i'll click on finish okay so the moment i click on okay here uh, these things are going to get populated okay now it depends uh, wherever the certificate is there so if you'll take a look at this trusted root certification you'll find a lot of certificates but uh, whichever needs to be used you can check with your infra team so let's say this is the certificate so you'll double click on that and uh, here you'll be able to see okay this is valid for this particular date and if you go into the details section here you'll be able to find a thing called thumb thumbprint so the moment you click on this the thumbprint will be displayed here and you can copy this and then you can paste it you can paste it in the certificate thumbprint and this is something which would be required to be updated in a lot of different places as well so take a, a copy of that okay so post that you will in install your tosca server and once the tosca server installation is completed by default your landing page of the tosca server is going to get launched in case that has not happened you can always use whatever the wherever you have set up your server so the server address in case of server address you can mention the ip or the host name and then colon and then whatever the port number is there okay now tosca server offers a lot of different functionalities in case of like dex is one part but they do offer test data management license administration user administration administration console a lot of other things are there but this is only pertaining to dex aos so we are going to just talk about that okay so here after launching your tosca server you go to this settings you click on the settings and after clicking on settings you will be able to see a page something like this let me scroll down so you'll see a page something like this which will tell you all the different kind of services in case in tricentis service configuration so there is service discovery project service authentication service file service test data service mail configuration now depending on your project needs whatever you need to utilize you can mention the details accordingly so basically here uh, you will have to pass in informations to communicate with those things okay but the main and foremost uh, setting required for dex aos is 
automation object service okay so we are going to specifically talk about aos only i am going to put the link which will uh, give the information about what all details would be required to fill in all the different fields that you can find on uh, the tricentis official portal but uh, mostly it will ask you the port numbers uh, uh, the server address and all those type of details okay now in case of automation object service again here you will mention whatever is your distributed server address okay now the machine on which you have installed your dex server that's why in the initial uh, few minutes i was talking about to create the aos workspace in the same machine okay now that will be located by default in your tosca workspaces section uh, in tricentis projects but in case you have customized it to a different address you can select accordingly okay now in this case you can have multiple workspaces uh, set up here as well but uh, uh, that's why you have the option to input workspace root name username and password so let's say you have different tosca workspaces you can add them accordingly and by default you can add 10 different parallel workspaces but you can change that number as well okay and once these settings are set uh, you will have the option to select that uh, do you want to set it only for distributed execution or there is one another uh, application which is called as tricentis test automation do you want for that or do you want for both of them so whatever is your need you can select accordingly in this particular place and click on save the moment you click on save you'll be able to see uh, something like all these uh, services are getting uh, restarted or getting saved so it'll uh, it'll check on each of the service and it will give you an option okay all these are working fine or not in case any of the service is failing what you can do is you can go to that service and click on save again and then uh, it should work fine let's say a port was busy or some issue happened because of that it failed so you can reactivate that service in case you are not able to do that you can always go to your task manager and all these services would be listed there and you will be able to see okay if it is stopped or it needs a restart or something like that so you can select the option accordingly okay now this uh, these are the steps here so configure service with tricentis uh, service con configuration click on the settings at the top right corner which i was talking about and then set up all these services whatever you require but aos is the major one okay now i am going to list all these uh, uh, steps in my linkedin page as well uh, in an article as well as i'll try to put uh, in the description section whatever i can uh, but this is uh, the first part of the dex setup installation dex server installation okay now after that we would need to set up the tosca commander and then the agent machine setup as well which we are going to talk in the next two videos of the dex series i hope you found it useful and uh, Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.